Today we're going to tell you a few do's and don'ts for a bride. Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Shetty, your skincare expert at Glamorous.com. For all you brides-to-be, here are the do's. Make sure you drink plenty of water. Get a diet expert to tell you what are all the good things that you need to include and what are the bad things you may want to exclude at this point of time. A good lifestyle, six to eight hours of sleep, very, very important. What you could do towards it, cut down all electronic stimulation after probably 8 p.m. at night. Get more into reading or soft music and soothing lights, which kind of calms your system, calms your nerves down to then help you sleep better. Meet your skincare doctor, it's a good time to do that. One, for your skincare regime. Two, to see what are the treatments that can make you look better. Probably just tweaking the shape of your eyebrow a bit can glamorize your entire face. Maybe adding a bit of volume to your cheek can do that magic. So to find out what is your magic point and if those treatments are possible, what is the downtime? How soon should you do it? Does that require repeated sittings? All of these you could find out with a good consultation. You need to go and start looking for colors that suit your skin best and bring out the best in your skin tone. Yellows suit a few people, pink does a few people, the otherwise may not. So figure out what is the best color of your costume which can bring out the best in your skin. Make sure you extend your skin care, not just to the face, but beyond the face. Look at your neck your decolletage, your hands, your feet, all the exposed parts, including your back. And if you're an Indian bride wearing a sari, even your mid waist. So all the exposed parts needs to be really taken care of for that ultimate texture and tone that you really want the skin to glow with. For all you brides-to-be, here are a few list of don'ts. One is definitely do not start a fresh new skincare regime just a week before your wedding. Don't do an experiment, anything on your skin and your face in terms of new treatments just when there is a week before your wedding. Do not drink too much alcohol. A little alcohol is still allowed where you can compensate with a lot of fluids, moisturizers on the face, antioxidants, cigarette, absolutely none. Do not do late nights. Do not eat plenty of sweets. That can cause damage to the collagen of your skin itself. Do not overdo skincare products. It's okay to let your skin just be once in a while and not put too many products on yourself. Do not starve yourself to lose that last extra kilo on the last week. Never do that. That tells on your skin and your under eye. Do not go to bed with your makeup. Absolutely no, no. Do not forget your night replenishing cream because that's what actually gives you the glow and the hydration the next early morning. So if you can keep these in mind and not do what's not meant to be done, you could simply have a good skin. You may not really want to do 10 things, but if you don't do the wrong things, you're at least assured of a skin that you already have, which might be already good and glowing just because you're happy to be married. You can email us with any of your skin-related queries at beglamorous at gmail.com. Don't forget to state your age and skin type as this helps us give you a more personalized course of action. Take care and have a happy skin.